Hi sa lahat. Um, ito na naman ako uh, mag-share sa Himala na ginawa ng Diyos through Narciso o Lalo. Um, again, this is Ms. K. Uh, July 25, 2020, nag-message ako kay Brother Nurse kasi may balita na may coming na Hurricane Douglas sa state of Hawaii. So, ipapakita ko sa inyo sa video na ito yung timeline kung paano nagmula ang Himala na ginawa ng Diyos. So, before that, let me show you the introductory video about hurricane warning for Oahu. So, I live in Honolulu and Honolulu is part of Oahu. So, um, let's listen. It's Robert Ballard. I'm the science and operations officer here at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. Uh, we have a very busy morning in place here, so let's get right to it. Um, hurricane Douglas uh, continues on a path that's going to take it dangerously close to the main Hawaiian islands. Okay, please note. Ano yung sinasabi? Dangerously close to Hawaiian Islands. So let's continue. On Sunday and Monday. So wait, Sunday and Monday. So the report, as you see, dated July 25. At saka ito yung date na nag-message ako kay um, Brother Nurse. Kasi syempre, ano, I'm scared. Kasi nga, uh, may darating na Hurricane Douglas sa state namin. Kaya, okay, one more time. Right now, Hurricane Douglas has maximum sustained winds of 90 miles per hour. It's about 325 miles east of Hilo and about 520 miles to the east southeast of Honolulu. There's a couple things to note in this advisory. One is that Douglas is continuing a grab. Okay. So before I will continue on that, I think it is very interesting to note kung ano ang sinasabi ni uh, Brother Nurse when I informed him na may Douglas nga na dumating sa state namin. So okay, before that message, uh, this is really interesting. Let me show you the news report. Uh, it's the headline, Hurricane Douglas. The strongest storm on the planet expected to weaken as it moves toward Hawaii. So as you see, July 25, 2020. So let me click the link on this para makita nyo yung ano, yung mismong balita. Ito. Ito yung headline. So if you read this, of course, you will be scared kasi yung headline the strongest storm on the planet moves toward Hawaii July 24, 2020 at saka sinabi dito uh, Major Hurricane Douglas is the strongest storm on the planet right now and it's approaching Hawaii the storm is a category 3 hurricane um, packing dangerous winds of 120 miles per hour that extends 25 miles from the center of the storm so anyway we will not read um, the details but that's the headline of the report so when i read that nag message ako kay um, brother nurse so ang sabi ko yun nga na may darating na bagyo yung respond naman ni uh, brother nurse walang dapat katakutan ano oras darating dahil ipaiwas ko siya sa bahay nyo so ipakita ko yung screenshot sa message na yan. So, very simple yung response niya. Walang dapat katakutan anong oras darating dahil ipaiwas ko sa bahay ninyo. So, nagtanong siya. So, yung response ko naman, weekend daw, titingnan ko sa news report mamaya, kayo na bahala ni Jesus Brother Nurse. Yun ang sinabi ko sa kanya. Tapos, nagtanong siya, anong pangalan ng bagyo? So, nag-respond naman ako, Douglas, Hurricane Douglas. So, ang sabi niya, Hurricane Douglas, iwasan mo ang bahay ng taong naging katuwang ko sa pagsiwalat ng katotohanan. Ayon sa sinasabi ng Diyos, sundin mo ang hiling ko na iwasan ang mga taong tunay na niwala sa Diyos. So, kumbaga, parang kinausap niya si Hurricane Douglas. So, you know what? Sa mga taong hindi uh, nakakilala kay Brother Nurse, for sure sasabihin, is he crazy? Who is he in the first place? Diba? 
ganun talaga yung sasabihin nila kasi hindi nila alam kung ano ba talaga ang ginagawa ni Narciso Lalo. So, when I have that, I'm so confident. So, anyway, before that, let's um, continue first. So, pinakita ko na yung link, yung balita nga. Tapos, July uh, 25, 11am, may update. So, tingnan natin yung update sa Hurricane Douglas. So, let's uh, Hawaii out. County, the big island, and also Maui County. Okay, we, let's start from the beginning. It's Robert Ballard. I'm the Science and Operations Officer here at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. Uh, we have a very busy morning in place here, so let's get right to it. Okay, please note it's July 25, 2020. Uh, always remember the time difference between Hawaii and um, Australia. So July 25 here is July 26 in Brother Narciso's time. So continue. Um, Hurricane Douglas uh, continues on a path that's going to take it dangerously close to the main Hawaiian islands. Okay, look dangerously close to Hawaiian Islands. So, ayan, sino ang hindi matakot, di ba? On Sunday and Monday. Right now, Hurricane Douglas has maximum sustained winds of 90 miles per hour. It's about 325 miles east of Hilo and about 520 miles to the east-southeast of Honolulu. There's a couple things to note in this advisory. One is that Douglas is continuing a gradual slow weakening trend, uh, which in itself is good news, but the bad news is that this hurricane is going to come very close to the islands even as it's weakening. And we do expect significant impacts as it makes its point of closest approach or possible landfall as it comes through. Now with this advisory at 11 a.m., we have issued a hurricane warning for Oahu. Okay. So, at that time, July 25, 11 a.m., uh, naka-register ako sa emergency notification sa state of Hawaii. And so, I received the text notification. So, ipakita ko sa inyo. Yan. Emergency alert. Extreme. July 25, 11 a.m. National Weather Service. A hurricane warning is in effect for this area for dangerous and damaging winds. So, yeah, and so when I received this, nag-message naman ako kay Brother Nars kasi, oh my God, it's going to happen. So, yeah. And then, yun nga, ito yung sinasabi ko sa, sa inyo na nag-message ako. Yun ang response niya. Walang dapat katakutan, anong oras, darating, dahil ipaiwas ko siya sa bahay niyo. So, nagtanong siya. So, sabi ko, weekend daw. So sabi niya, anong pangalan ng bagyo? Sabi ko, Douglas, Hurricane Douglas. Sabi niya, Hurricane Douglas, iwasan mo ang bahay ng tao naging katuwang ko sa pagsiwalat ng katotohanan. So parang nag-joke lang siya ba? Kung sa mga tao hindi nakakilala, sasabihin talaga, oh, what is that? Who is he in the first place? Right? So let's. Sabi naman, uh, yes, brother nurse, kayo na ni best friend, bahala kay Douglas. Kasi yung best friend here si Jesus kasi ba sa mga posting ni Brother Nars, tinatawag niya si Jesus Christ na best friend. Tapos ang response ni Brother Nars, taho lang ang kusog ni Douglas Miss Kay. Parang nag-joke pa rin siya. Sabi ko, basta sinabi niyo, totoo yan. So, my thinking is, yes, I think Brother Nars is right. But then at the back of my mind, Na-imagine ko yung, ano, yung reporter at saka yung text message alert. Sabi ko, my God, where will I believe? To the news report o to Narciso Lalo? But then because of my faith, sabi ko, hmm, basta sinabi niyo, totoo yan. So sabi naman niya, sa kabila ng takot at pag-alala mo, magulat na lang kayo na walang Douglas magparamdam sa inyo. So always remember this, sa kabila ng takot at pag-alala mo, magulat na lang kayo na walang Douglas magparamdam sa inyo. So, later on, we will prove that point. At saka yung response ko naman, yay, basta yun na yun, thank you Lord. So, nagpapasalamat na ako na in advance, but then again, at the back of my mind, oh my God, I will go to the news report and listen what's the update. So, let's move to the next slide. Um... Ito yung ano, striking statement. So, that was July 25. The next day, July 26, siguro nabasa nyo, may mensahe si 
Narciso Lalo posted on his Facebook account. So, ito, part ito sa mensahe. Narciso Lalo, uh, nasa Hawaii ka, ang salita ng Diyos. Sabi ko, ang ganda ng lugar, pero ang klima parang Pilipinas. Maraming mga puno ng niyog at puno ng mga prutas. Nagulat ako dahil biglang lumakas ang hangin. Napatingala ako sa itaas. May eroplano na napadaan na parang tinutulak na balakas na hangin. Natakot ako. Sabi, Panginoon, anong nangyari? Sumagot siya, Hurricane yan. Ang mata niya ay tatama sa lupa. Mag-ingat ang lahat at laging handa. So, that is God's message. So, this is a long message. Uh, I think I recorded. So, I want you to listen so that you will know the details sa July 26, 2020 uh, message. So, this is the message. So, let's listen because maliliit yung litra. Hindi nyo maano, mabasa. Okay, so, we'll see. Narciso Olalo, July 26, 2020. Minsahe ng Diyos. Habang naglalakbay ako sa isang lugar, ang napapansin ko na ang daming tao, may mga taong nasa loob ng kainan, ay busy sa labas. May isang lalaki na napadaan na may hawak na parang karton. Napadungaw ako, naglala ko pala siya ng pilipit. Tatawagin ko sana dahil bibili ako, gawa ng paborito ko ang pilipit. Lalapitan ko sana pero hindi ako basta-basta makalapit sa sobrang dami ng tao. Sinundan ko ang lalaki pero hindi ko na siya naabutan. May isang lalaki na naglako din, binaba niya sa harap ko ang karton. Abukado pala ang nilako niya. Sabi ko sa lalaki, nako paborito ko, ko yan lalo na ang evergreen. Sabay hinawakan ko ang mga abukado, malambot na, overripe na pala. Tumalikod ako at nagpatuloy sa paglalakad. Nadadaanan ko sa maraming mga taong nagkainan sa loob ng restaurant. Napatingin ako sa isang lamisa. Parang kilala ko sila na mga taong mayayaman sa taga-Pilipinas. Hindi ko sila pinapansin. Nagpatuloy lang ako, napadaan ako. Unahan ang daming mga nakasabit na mga artwork. Ang ganda ng mga design. Habang nakatingin ako, nagisip ako kung saan nga ba ako. Sabay narinig ko ang boses ni Diyos Ama. Nasa Hawaii ka, ang salita ng Diyos. Sabi ko, ang ganda ng lugar, pero ang klima, parang Pilipinas. Marami mga puno ng niyog at puno, puno ng mga prutas. Nagulat ako dahil biglang lumakas ang hangin. Napatingala ako sa itaas. May eroplano na napadaan na parang tinutulak ng malakas na hangin. Natakot ako. Sabi ng Panginoon, anong nangyari? Sumagot siya. Hurricane yan. Ang mata niya ay tatama sa lupa. Mag-ingat ang lahat at laging handa. Napatingin ako sa unahan. Nakita ko ang puti na pabanda-banda at umiikot. Sobra ang takot ko habang naririnig ko ang sigawa ng tao. Sabi ng Diyos, yan ang mata ng hurricane, ang salita ng Diyos. Nag-alala ako sa mga tao na masisira ang kabahayan nila. Naririnig ko ang malakas na kalampag. Napatingin ako sa kabila, nag-iba-iba ang direksyon ng hangin. Habang nagpatuloy ang puti na bumagsak at pabanda-banda at pagulong-gulong ito na parang may dalang apoy sa sobra ng lakas ng pagbagsak, pag-ikot at pagbanda-banda nito. Naisip ko bigla sila Kay, Miss Kay at Mike. Gusto ko silang puntahan para tulungan ko sila. Pero sabi ng Diyos, hindi ka naaabot sa kanila dahil darating na ang hurricane. Naisip ko nalapitan ang mata ng hurricane para ako ang matatamaan at wala Wag lang ang mga tao. Tumakbo ako ng mabilis. Habang malakas ang hangin, sumigaw ako. Panginoon, iwasan ng malakas na hangin ang bahay nila, Miss Kay. Lalo't wala ako doon. Biglang bumagsak ang puti na mata ng hurricane sa harap ko. Muntik na akong matamaan. Gumapang ako sa ilalim ng makapal na mga damo. Naisip ko kasi, pagtatamaan sa akin ang mata ng hurricane, hindi ako masasaktan. Habang nakadapa ako, narinig ko ang paswit. 
ng hangin na parang nanaghoy. Alam ko na may malakas na bugso na hangin na mata ng hurricane. Tumama sa uluhan ko nang nakadapa ako. Buti hindi ako ang natamaan. Nagulat ako dahil may dalang apoy ang sabi ng Diyos. Kasama ang malalakas na kulog at kitlat bago itutuluyan na mawala sa lugar ang salita ng Diyos. Tumayo ako, nakita ko na may mga tao pala at bigla akong nagising sa ginaw ang mensahe ng Diyos. Okay, so yun nga, yun ang mensahe. So that after July 25, 26, may mensahe. So sabi ko, oh my God, siyempre ano, hindi naman lahat na mga earthquake or uh, hurricane or any form of tragedy na isusulat ni Brother Nurse. Pero ito, specific to Hawaii, siyempre nag-inform ako sa kanya. So the following day, may mensahe na binigay ang Diyos. Tapos, humihingi ng tulong si Brother Nurse na ano, maiwasan kami sa, ano, sa bagyo na yon Kaya masaya ako kasi sabi ko, nako um, confident ako na ang lahat na sinasabi ni brother nurse talagang mangyayari so sinabi naman niya na protektahan niya, niya kami hinihiling niya sa Panginoon kaya yon let's continue so now is the report on July 26 so tingnan natin kasi sa report sinabi naman ni brother nurse na ang ibig sabihin daw ng minsahe na, nag-message siya sa akin sabi niya, Miss Kay, huwag kang mag-alala pinakita ng Diyos na, ano, na safe kayo yun ang sinasabi niya, kasi mahaba yung minsahe, pero hindi natin alam yung ano ba, yung, yung meaning kasi pag literal eh, kasi mahirap intindihin, kasi alam naman natin na yung minsahe babasahin pa yan ni Narciso Lalo, using his power of mind So, tinanong ko siya, Brother Nars, ang haba ng mensahe, ano bang ibig sabihin? Siya, isa lang ang ano, uh, ibig sabihin yun, uh, ligtas kayo sa kapahamakan, sabi niya. So, yun, I did not bother anymore to worry, kasi yun nga, nasa mensahe, sinabi ni Narciso Lalo. But then, in the news report, let's try to listen. Writing's not that easy, but Grammarly can help. This sentence is grammatically correct. Take a look at the hurricane right now, and you can see it's on the move, uh, mm -hmm. going uh, pretty pretty close over Maui County. Yeah, uh, right now uh, things are deteriorating. Conditions are definitely deteriorating over the. Uh... Okay, wait. They said deteriorating um, situation, de ba? It's really the opposite of God's message, or God's Narciso Olala statement na hindi daw ako magalala, libre kami. Pero I am very confused kasi sa sinasabi ni Narciso Olalo, yun nga, wag mag-alala, everything will be in order. Pero sa news report, nakakatakot. But again, because of my faith, I chose to believe the positive side. Right? Kasi pag nag-worry ako, nako, walang mangyari. And so again, ang paniniwala natin is very important. And because of my faith in God, And in Narciso Olalo, sabi ko, anyway, God is with me. So, yun na lang iniisip ko. So, let's continue. Uh, Valley Isle right now and also will likely be starting to deteriorate as well as we get toward the uh, early afternoon hours for Molokai. Let's go over what's happening over the uh, islands right now. Forecast models still have it just to the north of uh, the island of Hawaii and that's pretty much happening. You might still have some uh, stronger winds and some additional rain but only about one to three inches but looks like the worst is definitely over for the island of Hawaii but things are definitely different for Maui. Yeah, that's right. They could get anywhere from four to eight inches. And the eye of the storm expected to pass just to the north of them. Now, the strongest winds, according to Bob Ballard from the National Weather Service, is just to that west and northwest front of the, of the storm. Yeah, so, I, that's, so that's what we're watching for those impacts. Yeah, actually looking at, at this, this seems to have gone up a little bit further north than the last time we looked at this bit, particular model. Yeah. So that's, the, that's not too bad, but uh, we're still going to get some very strong winds and a pretty good wind shift as well, so you've got to be aware of that. Let's take a look at Oahu right now, and uh, this one we're watching very, very closely. As we get into 7.30 this evening, you can see the so, wind. By the way, Oahu is where the island I live, so just to let you know. 
conditions are going to be very strong, particularly for the Ko'olaloa area of the island, and we could actually still see hurricane force winds for that area. That's right. Now, according to the Central Pacific Hurricane Center, Oahu expected to get tropical storm force winds stronger than 39 miles an hour. Uh, around 2 o'clock this afternoon, and, and those winds will likely stay with us through the night. Yeah, uh, we we fast-forwarded to midnight, and you can see that the winds are going to shift very radically from north to south, but uh, again, that's going to be midnight. It looks like at this point, and this track could still change, and it's, you, you've been watching it change back and forth uh, pretty much for the last several hours even. And the concern for the... So they said it will change, you know, back and forth. At saka kung natandaan nyo yung mensahe na sinasabi sa mensahe pabanda-banda ang ibig sabihin daw sa pabanda-banda na change daw ng direction yung ano yung Douglas so totoo talaga as uh, presented in the report so anyway i will not finish because it's a long present it's a long report but then i will move on to the next uh, slide so on that day July 26 11 a.m. my text alert naman kami Hurricane nearing Oahu, extremely dangerous winds and flooding possible. So, this is now the second um, text message alert. So, again, sabi ko, ah, ikaw nang bahala, Lord, kasi, ano ba, nakakatakot kasi, ang dami mga text alert, yung sa news report, ganun. Kaya sabi ko, well, we'll just face it. So, ang ginawa ng asawa ko, okay, kasi sa television sinasabi, alright, you need to buy your um, 14 day supply of food uh, in preparation for Hurricane Douglas. So, of course, sabi naman ni, ni Brother Nurse, uh, wala naman kayong dapat alalahanin, but then, it's always good to take extra precautions. So, yun, yun nga, gumawa, gumawa din kami ng ano, preparation, kahit na sinasabi naman ni brother nurse na wala hindi dapat kayo mag-alala pero iniisip namin well in the event na safe tayo baka there will be no electricity or what not so it's always good to prepare kaya yun nag 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 food shopping din kami good for two weeks ng asawa ko so ito let's uh, have another update I'm Chelsea Davis on Maui, and this is the latest with Hurricane Douglas. We are currently at Kahului Harbor, where the conditions have deteriorated rapidly. As you can see, the so as she said, the situation deteriorated rapidly. So take note of that, and you can see the condition, right? Okay. The rain is coming down very hard. The wind is very strong as well. And behind me, the surf is slowly picking up. Now, if you know this area, if you know Kahului Harbor, you know that this is abnormal. The surf here at this time of year is usually very calm. We only usually see surf here in the harbor in the winter months. So this is abnormal. The winds have been pretty consistent all morning long, pretty strong, pretty steady. The rain, how However, that has really been a game changer. It was more inconsistent earlier this morning with heavy downpours and then it would stop. But now in just uh, the last hour or so, it's been coming down pretty hard and there is some flooding on the roadways near Kahului Beach Road. And again, officials are encouraging everyone to stay at home, shelter in place, try not to be out on the roadways as much as possible. Earlier, we did see a couple of kite surfers here in the water, and that is not smart. You know, officials want people to take this seriously. It not only puts your lives in jeopardy, but also the lives of our first responders. Okay, so just to let you know that this is Maui Island. This is different from the island where I live. So, totoo yung sinasabi ni Brother Nurse na malakas na malakas na hangin, ulan, ang iba nga with matching thunderstorm. So, pero hindi nangyari yan sa Oahu where I live. So, well, I am just sharing ang mga pangyayari, pero kayo na mismo mag, ano, mag uh, evaluate kung kung Himala ba ito na nangyari? Kasi mamaya ipakita ko sa inyo yung rainbow instead of waiting for Hurricane Douglas ang dumating 
rainbow so anyway before that let's try to continue to the next slide so let's see what's next here oh ito na the next day so good morning brother nurse kasi na naka online sa brother nurse sabi ko oh online si brother nurse so nag good morning ako sa kanya tapos nag respond siya miss k kamusta ang bagyo nanjan ako kagigising ko lang malakas ang bagyo ang mata tatama sa lupa ang hingin ang hangin pabugso-bugso at paiba-iba ang direction sumigaw ako panginoon iwasan ang hurricane Douglas ang bahay nila meske lalot wala ako doon ipost ko ang buong senaryo sa wall ko maya maya so why I am posting this because I want to justify na yung sinasabi ni ano ni brother nurse na malakas ang bagyo ang matatatama sa lupa ang hangin pabugso bugso at paiba iba it's really true because even the reporters they are confused because sometimes uh it's scary and then sometimes they said oh it's weakening now and then sometimes oh this is deteriorating the situation is deteriorating so pa iba iba and then i responded oh my god brother nurse basahin ko ang buong scenario um ano ang update hindi pa ba dumating so ang response ko naman okay pa dito sa amin ngayon 9 30 pm tatama daw mamaya so, wag kang mag-alala. Sa pinakita ng Diyos, wala tayong dapat ipag-alala. So, yun ang sinasabi ni Brother Nights, which is always in my mind. Sabi ko, kahit na mag, hindi na maganda yung, ano, yung report, sabi ko, hmm, sabi naman ni Brother Nights, ano, hindi ako mag-alala. So, yun nga, because of my faith. Um, continuous pa yung ano namin, mess messaging. May kasamang kulo, Kulog at kid, kidlat yan, Miss Kay, pero huwag kayong matakot. Yung na, nakadapa ako, nasa uluhan ko, kulang, tumama. Ibig sabihin, iwasan kayo ng trahedya. Okay? Always remember that. Ang ibig sabihin daw, iwasan kami dito sa uwaho ng trahedya. So, ang response ko naman, Hi, salamat brother nurse. Sinabi ko kay Mike, uh, by the way Mike, it, it, siya yung asawa ko. Sinabi ko kay Mike with lightning and thunderstorm. And then I remembered when I responded, uh, Brother Nurse, nasa sasakyan kami kasi papunta kami sa store to buy some food supply. So sabi naman niya, ganun pa man, wag maging kumpante, gawin ang nararapat. Sabi ko, oo nga, nakakatakot. Keep mo ang chat natin. Always remember this. Keep mo ang chat natin. Magagamit natin yan pag katapos. Yes, brother nurse, thank you. Yun ang response ko. Kung makunan mo ng video, ang pangyayari, gawin mo. Response naman ako, okay, I will. Kaya, ginagawa ko talaga itong video. Kasi sinabi eh, sabi ko, oh my God, I really need to have a testimony with matching, you know, videos. Because I want to prove that God is alive, that God protects the people sa mga taong tunay na niniwala. So, yan. Uh, I'm not saying that I am perfect but then I am trying I'm trying to be closer to God kasi pag ginagawa natin ang gusto ng Diyos laging present siya sa buhay natin every moment kaya sana ang lahat magbasa at intindihin ang mga mensahe na pinarating ni Narciso Olalo okay so let's move now to July 26 uh, 1 p.m. update. Tingnan natin kung anong sasabihin dito. If we still are not in the clear by any means of uh, the Hawaiian Islands are still in the crosshairs of Hurricane Douglas, still a Category 1 hurricane. That's right. The winds are still very powerful, uh, capable of doing a lot of damage. We're expecting power out. Okay. Did you hear that? The winds is still very powerful. So take note the words very powerful the winds is very powerful pero kung pupunta ako sa mensahe sa text message ni brother nurse wag kang mag-alala sa pinakita ng Diyos wala tayong dapat ipag-alala so yan lang ang lagi kong binabasa sa uh, cellphone ko na message from brother nurse okay let's continue
Our outages. We already had some on Maui. We already had some on the Big Island. And slowly, as it starts to clear the Big Island, they're starting to calm down. But they could see some. Okay, let us rewind that because I did not hear very well what he said. Early. Outages. We already had some on Maui. We already. Had some uh, capable of doing a lot of damage. We're expecting power outage outages. We already had some on Maui. We already okay. Had some See, power outages is already happening in Hawaii. I mean, in Maui. I'm on the Big Island, and slowly as it starts to clear the Big Island, they're starting to calm down. But they could see some dragging moisture behind it. Right now, winds 85 miles per hour, gusts of 105 miles per hour, still booking along to the west northwest at 16 miles per hour. And at the moment, the forecast track is taking it just to the north of the main Hawaiian Islands and uncomfortably close to the north. Yeah. Now this uh, track, it could wobble anywhere inside of this cone. And Ben, you know, anywhere of this wobble to the south is definitely going to result in some uh, more severe conditions than what we expect. Yeah. Uh, joining us right now is Bob Ballard over at the National Weather Service and Central Pacific Hurricane Center. And uh, Bob, thanks for being able to join us. I know it's been a very busy day, but uh, one of the things that we have been talking about is this track and the strength. What other uh, elements can you tell us about what's affecting this track and how little of a margin could mean a huge difference in what we get? Yeah, there is a razor sharp southern boundary to this system that we are really hoping to stay away from. That's about, oh, say from the scent from the eye, maybe 20 or 30 miles on the south side that uh, that based on looking at radar and the Air Force Reserve hurricane hunters, that is where the really bad stuff is happening with really high destructive winds. So far, we have managed to keep that. Did you hear that? Very high destructive winds. So scary, right? At offshore with relatively few impacts, but we are within the margin of error at 12 hours. Uh, that margin of error for us is about 30 miles. And so that's why we're concerned as we watch uh, Douglas continue off to go off to the west northwest. We really hope it, that it maintains that west-northwest motion, but some of the computer models have been trying to show a little bit of a westward jog later today. We are really on pins and needles uh, keeping an eye on that. We hope it does not happen, uh, and if it doesn't, then we, we are going to count ourselves very, very lucky, but we want folks to be ready just in case. Now, Bob, it's also uh, very disconcerting and, and concerning that uh, the storm has maintained hurricane strength, and now you guys are expecting it to do so until it leaves our neighborhood. That's right. Normally, uh, cyclones, uh, tropical cyclones, when they get close to the islands, we'll see them hit the wall of shear. We call it the wall of shear. It rips the thunderstorms and rips the, the heavy showers right off the circulation, and then you uh, wind up with a much weaker system. In this case, there is shear, and it is starting to encounter that, but the shear is relatively weak. Okay, let me stop from there and go back to my slide. Uh, this is July 26, 3 p.m. We'll see what happened after that. Douglas, Ben. Hey, thanks very much, Mahia and Lynn. Of course, uh, things when we're talking about the weather changing as rapidly as it is, that's because this is a relatively fast-moving hurricane. Douglas, over the last six hours, has started to experience some shear, and you can see a lot of that convection starting to get pulled off to the north. You can also see more of those clouds heading off to the north as well. That's pretty good news for us as far as the strength of the storm. It could sap some of the intensity. However, that also means we are still in uh, the danger of having the center of the storm move closer to the island of Oahu. Okay, so that's it. Okay, let me close this and next slide. This is July 26 update. From Hawaii News Now, this is a breaking news special report. At 
Welcome back on this Sunday afternoon. Our wall-to-wall -wall coverage of Hurricane Douglas continues. And we've got it covered with Ben Gutierrez and Jen Robbins who are monitoring the storm. Ben, you were talking about the quadrant concept. What does that mean and what does that mean specifically for each island? Well, it looks like a lot of questions have come up as far as why this storm doesn't seem to be that strong, at least on the southern half, even though the center is relatively close to the island chain. And that's because we have different sets of energy for each quadrant of the hurricane. If you look at the hurricane as a whole, it's spinning counterclockwise and how massive the system is. As it spins, that front, 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 it's hard to say, front <laughs> right, right front. quadrant there we go. is actually the strongest part of the system where most of the moisture has been collected in the storm. Also, the backside of the storm, not as strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you can see, even though the center is appears to be right here you can see where most of the heavy weather is off to the north we're not really seeing as much we're seeing a lot of clouds which show up as the red on satellite but not as much you can see just how tight okay so that's 4 p.m news report ah ito part ito sa ano part ito sa mensahe naisip ko bigla sila miss k at mike Gusto ko silang puntahan para tulungan ko sila. Pero sabi ng Diyos, hindi ka naaabot sa kanila. Dahil darating na ang hurricane. Naisip ko na lapitan ang mata ng hurricane para ako ang matatamaan at wag lang ang mga tao. Tumakbo ako ng mabilis habang malakas ang hangin. Sumigaw ako, Panginoon, iwasan ng malakas na hangin ang bahay nila meske. Lalo't wala ako doon. Biglang bumagsak ang puti na mata ng hurricane sa harap ko. Muntik na ako matamaan. So, that's God's message. Ang ibig sabihin daw nito na, yun nga, safe kami sa, sa, ano, sa Douglas. Ang, in short, ang meaning ng mensahe na ito. Kaya, July 27, update. Let's listen what's in here. Ergonomics and human factors are baked right into the design. The center stack is perfectly placed in your line of sight. You have connectivity at your fingertips, and you don't have to take your eyes off the road. Unfortunately, the most dangerous part of the storm stayed over the ocean, but as it tracked dangerously close to the state, it kept meteorologists on their toes. Uh, it kept on moving toward the, toward the north, Every little bit of latitude it gained without making a little leftward jog was like, okay, if it'll, if we can just keep this motion going a little bit longer, that'll be a really, really good thing for the states. Overnight, forecasters at the Central Pacific Hurricane Center were watching and waiting as Douglas closely trekked past Kauai. We, we were on pins and needles over that because we knew that was well within the margin of error. Douglas brought big surf our wind gusts, but not everywhere. And up to five inches of rain in some spots, but the storm didn't cause much damage, and it was a close call. The okay, so it says did not cause much damage, particularly in Oahu. So the one you saw is in the other island. The center of the Category 1 hurricane was about 30 miles north of Kahuku, at about seven Sunday night, twice as close as Hurricane Dot back in 1959. When we went back and looked at the data in the post analysis starting today, um, it, it became evident that, yeah, we really did like just barely dodge that bullet, but it wasn't by far. If it was just 20 miles closer, we would be facing a much different scenario. Again, we got really lucky this time, folks. So. Uh, you really need to be aware that hurricane season is serious business. The lesson, always be prepared. After all, Hawaii's hurricane season runs through November 30th. That is okay. So, very clear. We are very Looking for an educator. Point. Okay, let me go back to the slide. So, as you see on its track, just north of Hawaii, Hurricane Douglas made history. So, well, 
here in Hawaii, we always prepare for the worst. So, thank you, Lord, you know, ligtas ang, stay, ang island namin sa Hurricane Douglas. Walang masyadong ano, damage sa place namin. How about this? Let's watch this. It's Monday, July 27th, and this is now on HNN. Hawaii dodges a bullet as Hurricane Douglas moves quickly away from the state. That, that is what we expected. And right now, airlines and the shipping industry are moving to resume normal operations. This, as Hannah, the first hurricane of the 2020 Atlantic season, left a trail of destruction along the Texas coast. To see the, the pair of damage like that was uh, pretty heartbreaking. These stories, plus a 4.8 magnitude quake shakes part of Hawaii Island. Coming up on This Is Now. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for watching This Is Now. I'm Jonathan alongside Mejia here. Good to report that all hurricane and tropical storm warnings have been dropped as Douglas moves away from the state. Sperry okay. Douglas went away from our state. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. That's all I want to show you. So next slide is uh, a similar... Um, situation happened in 2018 we're in we were waiting for a hurricane here in hawaii and the name of hurricane is lane at saka nag message din ako kay brother nar sabi ko um nangamusta siya kamusta na kayo dyan ok lang ba hangad ko nalilihis ang bagyo kung meron man mahina na lang ang dadaan at malakas sa ibang panig ng lugar. So, anyway, yun ang sinasabi niya. At saka, the next day, I saw in the report, Tropical Storm Lane went through a rapid weakening today, said John Bravinder of the Central Pacific Hurricane Center. This is the weakening we were hoping for. Normally, a hurricane will weaken gradually. He added, there is still the potential for tropical storm force winds in addition to heavy rainfall. That threat will continue. Lane was downgraded to a tropical storm just 24 hours after the cyclone was Category 3 hurricane. An official said Hawaii has strong shear to thank for breaking up the storm. So again, this is a very nice uh, story because... You know, we would think that it's really bad, but then it's actually not. So, thank you, Lord. And then now, I will show you the Facebook Live that I posted in my Facebook uh, July uh, 27, 7 p.m. while waiting for Hurricane Douglas. Ito ang nakita ko yung rainbow. Look at this. Oh my God! We are waiting for Hurricane Douglas. At ito na naman, rainbow ang lumalabas. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Narciso Olalo. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Lord. Ito o oh, yung rainbow makikita nyo. Ito ang rainbow. Dito yan, malapit sa bahay namin. Thank you, Lord. So, as you observe, parang nanginginig ako. Kasi, sino namang mag-expect na may rainbow? Eh, naghihintay kayo ng ano, ng Hurricane Douglas at saka rainbow pang nakita ko. And then, only for a few minutes. So, what I did, I posted in the Facebook Live para makikita talaga yung date, kailan uh, nangyari yun. So, in this uh, posting, makikita nyo yung date, July 27. Yeah, three days ago. So, anyway, um, that's the story. Uh, I hope um, ang lahat magbasa. Um, this is the 
And then, siguro ang iba magtanong, why it is a big deal for me sa rainbow? On top of that, may mensahe talaga tungkol sa rainbow. So, I will not uh, read because it's a very long uh, video already. I will just um, highlight the striking statement para maintindihan ng lahat kung bakit maraming rainbow ang lagi kong nakikita dito sa Hawaii. Not only because of Hurricane Douglas, Hurricane Lynn, or any form of tragedy here in Hawaii. Lagi ako nakakita ng rainbow. Hindi ko alam. Ito. January 30, 2018, na si Soolalo. Si Miss Kian, lagi ko siyang sinusundan o sinasamahan ang salita ng Diyos. Sabay narinig ko ang boses ni Diyos sama. Ako ang may gawa sa rainbow na nakikita niya ang salita ng Diyos. Ngayon, sabihin niyo, who is Miss K in the first place? You know? Bakit naman, ano, bakit naman sina, sina, sinamahan siya ni Jesus Christ? Uh, I will not comment anything. Ang sasabihin ko lang na pag may lubos tayong paniniwala sa Panginoon, lagi na, lagi kasama natin siya. So, yun lang ang masasabi ko. Sa ibang tao na sasabihin na hindi ito totoo, okay lang. Kasi may kanya-kaya naman tayong paniniwala. So, I will not argue further. So, for more information, I want you to visit Narciso Olalo's Facebook. Ito yung link, yung Facebook link niya. At saka, may ano din siya, may sariling website. So, please explore Narciso Olalo's Facebook wall and experience God's presence. Simply take time to read, understand, and reflect. And thank you for listening. And again, I want you to uh, visit this website. Thank you very much.